I've been peeking in your windows at night and I know what keeps you up. You stay up all night wondering if a bare breast implant is bulletproof. We're going to shoot a 22 into it, see if it'll stop it. If it does, we'll move on up to a 9mm and so on and so forth. Let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go, 22. It didn't stop a 22. It didn't stop. It hit right in here, and I don't know if you can see in there, but it looks like this clear ballistic gel when you do the shooting tests. Yeah. There's a, actually a wound track right through the middle of there. You can kind of see it better up against the brick, but it does exit right out the back side. Um, you can kind of see it's oozing out right there. So yep, yep. The 22 made it straight on through. Sorry, Katie. Right on through the breast okay, implant. Okay, let's shoot it with a 9 millimeter hollow yep. point. Might as well. We still got breasts. Let's go ahead and put a, a 9 through here. Okay. 9 millimeter. We got a federal HST 20, 124 green. Okay. Hollow, hollow point. Let's see okay. what it does. All, All right, ready. Here we go. Oh. Yikes. Nine millimeter passed right through it. We kind of knew that was going to happen. And it, and it kind of bounced off the top of the brick yeah. a little bit. So you can kind of see the the brick colored goo that flew through there, which uh, actually makes kind of a cool uh, visual for a wound track. Yeah. But the breast implant is not going to stop anything. 22 nine millimeter or obviously higher. Probably not even a pellet <laughs> rifle. <laughs> definitely need we that. hoped. Sometimes these things work out. Sometimes they don't. Yeah. You definitely look at this one's got more nature hooked on it than. And Bernie Sanders. Um, <laughs> you definitely need a vest in front of your breast implants. Yeah. We call it vest implant. So, all right, folks, we're out here for you for science. We got our fingers all gooey, and we got to take Doug out for a beer. So, okay. We're gonna get rid of this thing. <laughs> so, what did we learn today? Well. Breast implants do not stop bullets. They do slow them down a bit, but we learned that the silicone inside is very thick and viscous, kind of like the material inside of a Stretch Armstrong, which is why we thought there was a chance these things would actually stop a bullet. But the implant was very resilient, even though it had multiple holes in it, it didn't burst like a balloon spraying silicone all over our camera equipment and us. Now, since this video is kind of short, we have time for a quick story here. On the way out to our range, uh, we ran across this, this man and his wife who were stuck in the mud. He had slid off the road and was in peril of just crushing his rear quarter panel. If he had slid any further to the right, he would have just been right up against that telephone pole and had some body damage. I attached a tow strap to the back of his Land Cruiser to my truck just to keep some pressure on it to keep him from sliding any further and with a combination of his own winch and Greg towing on him, we got him out and he was free. And then there's this guy. Yes, another guy got stuck out here. Now it just rained here the day before pretty hard and the mud was very, very sticky. Uh, it's, it's like clay and it just sticks on everything. You can see how much uh, mud is just stuck on their shoes there. Now the truck is four wheel drive. It doesn't have real aggressive tires or anything and even if you do once you get that mud on there it's like grease and you have very little traction now it doesn't look like he was stuck too bad but he was sitting on the frame on the front end there and of course on a pickup you don't have a lot of traction on the back end not a lot of weight back there so he just couldn't get the traction to pull himself out now he was a good 100 yards from the paved road so the the chance we were taking here was getting another vehicle stuck in the mud and having to extract yet another vehicle. The guy that we pulled out with the Land Cruiser volunteered to drive out there and uh, risk getting stuck again and he was able to position behind the truck and use his cable winch to kind of pull him out. Didn't take much as you can see here. Now Greg and I have pulled out probably 10 people from this area just over the years of filming out here after it rained. People always come out and want to go mud bogging for some reason after after it rains and it always ends up like this. In fact, Greg was 
got his truck stuck earlier than this and was able to get out under his own power, fortunately. Now we always carry uh, shovels and a lot of tow straps because we, we've gone through this so many times. Now going off-roading is a lot of fun, but I would recommend that you don't just go out there by yourself and do it. Uh, get your buddies together in their trucks and if one of the trucks gets stuck, you got other vehicles to pull them out. Now both of these drivers are stationed at the naval base, which is near this area. Uh, real nice guys. One guy was from Cincinnati, him and his wife. The other guy was from Florida. And it was a pleasure meeting you guys. And of course they had no idea who we were. Now hopefully they'll see this video and it'll bring back those fond memories of getting stuck in the mud. And remember, if you see someone stuck, go help them out because you may be the next person stuck that needs help. At least we know he can navigate through a swamp. <laughs> Got 500 pounds of mud on the tires. Look out. Oh boy! Heck yeah! How'd he get stuck the first time? We don't know. Yeah, he got it. He got it. <laughs> Go Navy! Go! I'm anyway, I really appreciate the challenge coin, VFA 41, Black Aces, legendary squadron. Thank you.